you apply a pass in between here, okay, so the cones and the hoop. So you go pass out to this side, there's another pass here. First. Welcome back everybody. This is another one of my sessions done recently with a young player called Tom, who's a really brilliant trainer and player as well for his team. Uh, he's becoming more and more efficient all the time. Every single training session, he's adding these habits that we're trying to learn. He's scanning his body positions, his receives. He's adding them all in consistently and they're becoming permanent parts of his play. This is me just talking my way through the drill, explaining it to him, making sure we've got the understanding before he steps in. And I'll talk you through it once he actually does start his drill. I want you to push it and just go down the side of this spot because that will put you in a good position to play into the board. Okay, does that make sense? So you play into the board. Go touch, play into me, and then it just continues again on your toes. First one, second one, quick here. Tap, pass and step through. Little scan on your way, touch to set it in here. Push, touch, play, back in again. So it's very quick, pass, this side first. So it's just one great double movement though. Now you can go to hoop, tap, play, come through, open up, position this ball. Good, play in, love it Tom, play forwards, get it in back. Now, code. Good. Bounce. Get across. Nice and quick. Tap in. Yeah. So this is a really snappy drill and it's all about being on your toes and having good connections on the ball and good habits all the way through. And one of the things that looks a bit of a generic movement is that one there where he steps his foot into the hoop. But it's done for a reason. We're imagining he's making the movement, taking the defender away with his first run, which is the run to the hoop. And then he leaves the defender there and comes away from him to play in the space. As he plays his third pass, which is the one where he is about to play now, he comes out the hoop, this one here, he comes through and round and opens his body up. So he's got a good receive point and he's getting that scan before he gets the ball as well. So he can put the ball in a good place and he knows what he's going to do with it. Great scan, good gesture, it's all there. Body position's on point. Yeah, good. Last time through. Yeah, come on, keep working. Tap. Keep going. So coming to the end of this now, this is a really fast paced drill, which is great for footwork, great for body position and good for your touch and pass as well. And now we'll have a look at the next one. Pass, drop, scan, two touches at the back, that's that side done. Now I'm onto this side, so I go this side of the cone. First time, drop, scan, two touches, okay? Now after I've done that, I'm dropping out, seeing the ball all the time, look at my position, okay? Now this cone's a guide, I don't actually want you to go behind it. Okay, I'll go around it. I just want you to get somewhere here, okay? So not behind it, because then it will affect the ball. I just want you here. And then as I play into you again, you're gonna have a good positive touch and you're looking to push this touch, ideally, in between the blue and the bite on the width of the pitch there, look. So here goes your touch, push, okay? Trying to get past this blue. This will be about a perfect area. If you need to have another one, because you haven't got the weight, um, you haven't got quite enough force, that's fine. Reverse it into me, okay? Then you're making an overlapping run. So you can see the width of the pitch here. At this point... So there's a lot to this drill. There's a lot of uh, length to it. There's loads of little aspects that can be directly applied to matches as well. So it's really useful. The first bit is in the triangle, and that's all about being quick on your feet and having good body position. So playing one touch at the front cone, as he drops to the back corners, he's looking to open his body up to direct his first touch across the cone to leave the second one for his pass. After he's completed the triangle, he's dropping out, and he's dropping out and seeing the whole pitch. So he's keeping himself open to the ball. So he's not going blind to it. I'm just running through it a little bit more pace now. So this bit's the one I'm talking about. Drops out and sees everything, positive touch here. Chops it forward. This is an overlap which you can directly apply to match scenarios. Little turn, play away. Now this bit's key as well. Double movement. So he takes his defender away to come and play in the space. So that's how it works. See how he gets on. Good. See the play. Go on then. Step into it. Burst out. Play forwards. Good overlap. Go on then. Nice and quick. Get there. Pull back. To play forwards. Double movement. Tom. Great last pass. Come on then. Check in. You've lost him. Good left foot pass. Keep going through the middle of it. Well done. Shifted it well across your body. Drop. Yeah. Good. Go on then. See the play. See the play. That's better. You're opening your body up so you can see the ball. Go on then. And fast run. Wants to go and impact the game forwards. Turn. Yeah. Great see. Right, so now I'm going to ask you for your thoughts. What was your favourite drill? And what would you like to have a go at if you're a player? What would you like to deliver if you're a coach? Also, let me know what you like about the channel. There's lots of different varied football um, videos on my channel. What do you like? If I know, I can do more of it. So get involved. 
and I will appreciate all the support and the engagement.